Alright, so I'm getting ready to go on a trip. It is the night before and I thought I would show you guys how I'm going to pack for this trip. Uh, anytime I go on a trip, I get lots of questions. Can I show, you know, what I take with me, how I pack, etc. Um, my little skincare, skincare that I take. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to be gone for three nights and four days. And I'm only going to be traveling an hour, an hour flight away to Dallas. Yes, Texas is that big that uh, you can fly to fly an hour and still be in the same state. Uh, so that is what is going on for this weekend. And I thought I would show you guys. I am leaving Thursday early morning and I get back Sunday in the evening. So that is the duration of time. But I just have everything laid out here that I'm going to take with me and folded and I'm going to put it all into my suitcase. I intend to carry my suitcase on. This is my suitcase here, the Ramoa Salsa Air. Uh, I highly recommend this, by the way. I've had this for quite some time. Uh, it came with this little little plastic thing to keep it, keep it clean, keep it dust free, but it holds a lot. It fits in the overhead compartment really easily. And uh, it also has a, a lock that you can use. And it really it does just glide along like a dream. Very lightweight, very portable. I I almost exclusively use this. I, I've never really bothered to use a larger suitcase. I like to restrict restrict what I bring with me to that. Um, if I find that I want to bring more than what that holds, then I start asking myself, do I really need all of this stuff? Because uh, chances are I don't. I'm pretty minimalistic when it comes to packing. I'm going to be going to a conference, so I have to bear in mind that conferences and hotels are always like all sorts of all sorts of ends of the temperature spectrum, fluctuating from hot to cold, what have you. The conference I'm going to be going to is very informal. It is the Women's Derm Society, and the whole kind of thematic of this type of conference is to to be relaxed and they have some little uh, topics and whatnot about kind of wellness and that sort of thing. So the wardrobe is casual, not even business casual, casual. So I probably would take slightly different attire if I were going to a typical business, business casual attire conference. Uh, but whenever they say casual, I, I don't question that. I just go with it because I hate, I hate any kind of formal attire. Anyways, um, you guys know, very important to me is working out. There will be a gym there, of course, so I intend to work out. I always wear my workout clothing with me on the plane, and I like to get a workout in usually when I first get there before things get going, if I can. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to do. And I will be wearing my running shoes on the plane, so that frees up space in the um, suitcase for that. But um, just to walk you through everything that I'm going to be bringing, I have here, just starting with my fitness clothes, uh, I'm going to wear a pair of leggings on the plane and then I'm bringing these. These are my Fabletics leggings. And I'm also going to bring a pair of running shorts. So that should get me enough active wear on the bottom uh, for while I'm there. And then I've got two running tanks here. Um, I'm being overly optimistic here. They have numerous pools, so I'm kind of excited potentially for using the pools. I know myself I won't, but I have this bathing suit, and so I'm bringing it because <laughs> I'm just fab. Then I have, I'll wear a sports bra with on the plane, and then I have three here as well. And then this is my Champion Velour hoodie that I love. It's very comfortable. This is for at night in my room. It will be cold in there invariably, so I have that to, to keep me warm. And then I'm also going to be bringing this. It's very handy. This is a little compact backpack um, that folds up into this little square. Very handy for traveling, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of sightseeing, which I don't intend to do, but I always bring it with me, especially things like this where people end up handing you stuff, paperwork, whatnot, cards. Um, sometimes there, sometimes there are a lot of free skincare samples, so handy to have that kind of thing in 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 the travel bag. It just kind of always goes with me. Um, okay, and then as far as the clothing that I'm actually going to be wearing during the conference, I try and keep layering in mind and mix and match. So I have two layering tanks here, one in white and one in black. I also have this cardigan sweater that I got from. Just Fab or Shoe Dazzle? I think I got it from Just Fab. Yeah, Just Fab. Just Fab. 
<laughs> and then I have this long sleeve gray. This is an, uh, an active wear kind of athleisure top from Fabletics that has a little UPF 50, um, it's UPF 50 protective fabric. I believe, and it also has a little hand thing, so I won't unfold it, but that um, is one of those muted things that you can wear to the gym or, you know, in a quiet room for talk, for a talk, and uh, just, it's just subtle. And then I have this little gray champion um, kind of warm overlay shirt as well. And then I've got three pairs of running socks. I'll have another pair on my feet when I go there. And then I have uh, a pair of comfy nighttime socks for in the hotel room at night, my room. And then as far as bottoms for the conference, I have, these are just a pair of black slacks from Coolie Bar. And then I also have a pair of jeans because they said casual. So I'm going with casual. And these are the jeans that I got in Taylor Loft. I've really been liking them. I've gotten quite, quite a lot of wear and tear out of them. And then I have PJs here um, equipped with coffee stains. <laughs> Nobody has to see that, so I, I'm not, I'm not too picky. And then of course underwears, and these are my compression stockings. They are thigh high. I wear them. I'm gonna wear them on the plane. Um, but I, uh, I, I love wearing these, especially when you do air travel. They're just handy, help with circulation. I get them on Amazon. I'll list them down below for you guys. But I also like them because I don't really buy pantyhose anymore. And I like wearing them with, uh, like dress, dress flats. So I just have these little Clark black skimmers that I take with me everywhere. These are my, like, go-to, go-to, um, kind of conference shoes. They're comfortable to walk around in. So I have those. And yeah, that's all the clothing that I'm going to be taking with me. So yeah. And then more importantly are <laughs> beverages. You guys know me and my beverages. I um, have uh, these Four Sigmatics Mushroom Coffees. I also have many uh, little Starbucks Vias here. I don't want to have to buy coffee at all. And conference coffee is always terrible. So I don't want to have to drink that. Then I also have this mushroom mocha for maybe at nighttime. Uh, and then some of the chai latte mushroom mix. Oh, so good. So I've got plenty of hot beverages. I also have some of the red rose blueberry muffin tea. Oh, so delicious. And then for cold beverages, I have a packet here of natural calm to take with me. Probably overdoing it with the beverages, but you never know when you're stuck somewhere. And I don't know. I find having these on hand is just you can never have enough. I just got these slender sticks from iHerb. I haven't tried them yet, so um, I'm taking some of those with me. Hopefully they're not disgusting. This is a sample of a Garden Life Sport Energy Focus drink mix that I have, so I figured I would take that with me too in case the occasion came up to have it. Never leave home without sweet leaf or I have these little new naturals stevias as well. These are my stevia packets, so I'll take those with me. And I also have my spoon fork knife here uh, for uh, in case I, I don't know, I need it. Um, it's handy to have that kind of thing on hand. That way you don't have to rely on, if you, if you eat out, if I eat out, if I eat, when I eat in the, the airport, if I do, I don't have to use, I don't have to use plastic sport, sporks or spoons, spoons or forks, uh, you know, I can use my reusable one. And then I also have, this is just like an emergency <laughs> food ration here, these little hemp hearts. Um, who knows? Uh, I believe they're going to have vegan options there. I know they do in the restaurants, in the hotel. And I think the conference is accommodating to vegan, vegan needs, so I'm not too worried. Uh, but this is just a little emergency food source here. It is the hemp hearts. These are really good. Um, one package is like a little nice snack. So I got those. And then I just purchased this at Target kind of impulsively. It looked really good because I enjoyed the Ollie vanilla protein so much. I saw they had this salted char caramel chocolate flavor. So I wanted to give it a whirl. And they nicely had these single serving pouches. So I thought I would try that before committing to the big tub. Uh, but I did really, I do really love the vanilla. Uh, Ollie protein. And then these are some pistachio cranberry bites from Trader Jose. So I have those in case, in case I get hangry. So those are all the snacks. And then uh, as far as skincare and, you know, the toiletries, I have a lot of little minis, so I'm going to try and use those up. 
uh, to wash my face at night. I have a sample here of the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser that I love so much. Then I also have a sample of the DHC Cleansing Oil to take my mascara off with. Speaking of which, I am going to take this CoverGirl with me and uh, that reminds me when I get back, uh, it will be time for me to get a new mascara. I have, I think, a new Maybelline Colossal. Um, update on this though. Um, it's okay. I don't think I would go back to it. This is the Flourish mascara. It came in my Walgreens beauty box a while back. I've been wearing it and I miss Maybelline Colossal, so I think I'll go back to that, but it's not bad. Um, and then you guys know I love the CeraVe hydrating ointment for my lips, so I have a little mini of that. And then sunscreens. I have, I'm going to take one in my, my, um, carry-on bag, but this is just for in the suitcase. I have the Alley UV Media Gel. I have talked about this before. I love it. It's a great one and perfect size uh, for travel. Uh, meets requirements, TSA requirements. And I'm going to be inside the whole time, so I'm only going to be reapplying sunscreen um, three times a day. Um, probably not going to be going outside, even with my pool optimism. I'm not that optimistic. I will at most use an indoor pool. <laughs> So there's that. Um, and then I have a sample of the Glytone Triple Defense Brightening Complex. This is in a chemical sunscreen. Um, so I'll have that as well. My contact lenses, my uh, toothbrush, and I'm kidding myself. I also have my, to my dental floss. I'm kidding myself because I always do this. I never have the little travel toothpaste. So I have to get that when I get there. Usually hotels have that kind of thing. So... Ugh, I don't know what it is. I can never remember to, to have that on hand, a little travel toothpaste. And then I have a sample of Clinique Moisture Surge. I don't normally wear this, but I like it. It's okay. I normally do the deep dive red, the red earth deep dive uh, gel cream, but I've got this little sample, so I will use that in lieu of that. And then I've got some samples of the Tellurian Double Repair Moisturizer. I adore this stuff to bits. It is fantastic. Ceramides. Uh, really nice. Uh, I actually like this a little bit better than CeraVe, than CeraVe PM. Actually, I like this better than CeraVe PM, dare I say. Um, but yeah, not as good as the moisturizing cream in the tub for me, but it is a good one. Strong recommendation. Anyways, I also have my little Dentec, uh, celery defense. <laughs> and then this, you guys, um, you know I reviewed this wasn't too fond of it, would not repurchase it, but I've got one, you know, it's one ounce, so it's a good size for travel. And one problem with hotels and conferences is the flux in air, ambient air humidity leads to excessive dry, excessively dry skin. Plus, they'll probably have, you know, some kind of, I'm, I'm going to rely on their shampoo and conditioner. Hopefully it doesn't dry out my skin. Um, I always find that my skin gets dry whenever I travel. So, and I never have a body, enough body lotion. Whatever horrible body lotion they have in, in the hotels is always too hev heavily fragranced. So I thought I would take this with me. It's not going to be enough of a body moisturizer for like true, true dry skin, but maybe it'll be prophylaxic, prophylaxis, prophylaxis, uh, for, for a flare of dry, dry, itchy skin while I'm there. But yeah, that I will probably hopefully use up. Now I don't recommend buying this solely for, for a body moisturizer, but that's how I'm going to use it up this weekend. Um, and then these are, oh, and I put, I put, um, a lot of these things in these little clear travel on zippy bags. And then my clothing, just sneak back here. My clothing I put in these little packing cubes. Highly recommend packing cubes, by the way. I think I got these at like, I don't know, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one of those. Uh, with these festive limes on them. Yeah, highly recommend packing cubes. They really um, make the, the packing a lot more streamlined. I just have my planner out here in my little planny pack. I have a don't forget me list here. So it looks like I have everything. Oh, hair band. Yeah, I got it. That's the other thing I got to get is a hair band uh, for, for, uh, for my hair. <laughs> obviously, but these are just some things that I'm not going to put in my suitcase. I'm going to put in my travel bag. Um, I won't show you guys how I pack that. Maybe I can show you guys that on the plane itself, depending on the volume situation. Uh, but yeah, I'm taking my planner with me because it's my brain. And then on in my, in my carry-on bag, I'm definitely taking my Brio. This is my little scalp massager. And then I'm taking a book. I am so behind on my reading, you guys. Side note, I'm taking, I'm taking a book. Hopefully I can catch up on a little reading. All this flight's only an hour. 
Um, and then this is all of, this is what all of my like electronic YouTube paraphernalia is going to go in. Um, this little uh, away container. I've got my Joby tripod there that I hold you guys on and a little doohickey adapter for when I take pictures of myself for you all <laughs> uh, with my phone. Uh, just hold it. Uh, my laptop charger will go in there and my um, like all the battery packs that you know keep you guys alive. Your, your food source will go in there, the battery packs and battery chargers and cell phone charger. Um, everything that keeps me connected will go in here and this will this will go in my this will go in my um, I mean everything I'm I'm carrying everything on but this will go in my bag that I keep with me on in my seat. So that and I also keep my laptop with me in my seat. It, it's in a little briefcase type type thing so I have that and uh and a bag that sits with me and then the then the Ramoa goes in the overhead all right so I got everybody in their packing cubes uh just a little rundown I have a larger and a more a large and a medium packing cube here in the medium packing cube I have all of my uh leggings sports bras and my um and my running shorts um, and my pajamas. And then here I have like my thicker pants and my sweatshirt and that, uh, that cardigan that are thicker. So I have those. And these packing cubes are really nice because they've got snaps so they hold everything in place, uh, which is great. And so I've got those. And then in here is all of my endoies. <laughs> Where is that from? I swear there's like a character somewhere. This is underwears. <laughs> um, anyways, I have those in there and socks and uh, my sports bras. Uh, all in all in this this one. I just let the toothbrush run, run wild. This is my snack pack that has all of my beverages in it. And then that will just go free floating, a little backpack. And then these are my shoes in this little bag. And then this, these are all my toiletries. And within this is my hairband. I remember that. And then I have a smaller one of these inside that has all of my contact lenses separated out um, so that they are just kind of contained in there and it packs, it packs more easily. So that will all go in the Ramoa. I have it open here for you guys to see, but I love it because you can really pack a lot in this thing. And each side uh, has these little compartment zippy zippy pouches that you know shield the other half off so it holds a lot so i'm gonna pack that up and before i close it up i'll show you guys how everything fits inside so on the one side i have the larger packing cube and my shoes slipped in here and then my little my little ba backpack and then my toothbrush there so that'll go on one side just zipper up here and you know, if I were bringing more more items, I'd be a lot more I'd be a lot more fastidious with like rolling things. If you roll your pants and, and that sort of thing, you can you can fit more in. But I uh, it doesn't really matter for this. But that does allow for more efficient packing. And then on the other half, I have the PJ pack uh, or the fitness pack, I guess it is. My uh, toiletries and my beverage bag and then what was in here under under we is <laughs> so yeah that will that will go easy easy breezy um but yeah they stay nicely and folds in half and then well i can even do this one-handed right i'm over i'm a little overconfident with my one-handed skills here can't <laughs> together my uh, carry-on purse bag uh, right before I go and that's it. Well hey guys I'm here at my southwest terminal and I think it's a good sign <laughs> there are not very many people in the waiting area so hopefully my hopefully my flight won't be too crowded. But how do I show you guys what I packed in my travel bag that is currently 5 435 quarter till five um so yeah i'm not wearing any mascara i just put on uh a couple of layers of l to md uv sport so this is me early in the morning with nothing on my face but sunscreen no mascara oh i'm wearing my little anna louisa earrings and my 
necklace that I always wear. And I've got on this little jacket from Just Fab and my little cow neck. So I'm comfy. And I've got black uh, joggers on. So hopefully I'll get a workout in when I get there. But it is unusually hot, you guys. I don't know what is going on. And it's ominous. It's ominously hot. I say that because it's February and it's like 70 degrees. Texans. I'm terrified for July. I think we're gonna boil. Anyways, let me show you guys what I brought along in my other bag. So this is my like work bag and I got this on Fabletics actually um, a while ago. Hopefully they still, they might still have it. If so, um, I'll list it down below for you guys. But it's a really nice work bag because it, I think it's supposed to be like a gym, gym everything bag. But it's nice because it's got the little, it's got the little uh, hooks here so you can kind of close everything together. But it holds a ton of stuff. So I've got my planner. And then, this is, this is what you guys are interested in. All right, my in-flight essentials. This is the Cerave Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion Sunscreen SPF 30. And, uh, all right. Then I also have my Exuviance Tinted, which I'm not wearing at the moment. My Color Science Total Eye. I've got some Four Siggy uh, Instant Coffees in there and a uh, Shaga Elixir. I've got this <laughs> adorable fairy tale fruit gum. How cute is that? And this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Mm. I brought these sheet masks. I've never done them before, but I like to do, I like to do a fragrance-free hydrating sheet mask on the plane to help slow down transepidermal water loss. These are by the company Taste Beauty. And they don't have anything in them that is irritating. They're fragrance free. The only thing in here that could be a problem is castor oil if you are allergic to it. So this is just a nice uh, hydrating sheet mask. I like to do these on the plane because they keep water from evaporating out of your skin when you go in the in the um, dry cabin. <laughs> so I have one here in this cute unicorn packaging to match my to match my gum and. Uh, I also have one here that says cactus, but I think they're pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, um, those are little stocking stuffers. They're good. But I like to do those. And then I was thinking, this is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Gel Oil. I've been loving this on my lips. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some on in a moment. But I've been loving this on my lips. I thought I might smear a little on my face. Uh, before putting that mask on to really really get some extra emoliation in So I'm gonna do that and then when I get close to landing, I'm gonna reapply either the CeraVe or To match the whole the whole fairy tale theme. I have my can make mermaid skin UV gel in there as well So those are the in-flight essentials And then this is the little um, container that I mentioned earlier that has all of my charging cords in it so I won't show you guys all that boring stuff it's just like my just like my laptop charger and whatnot book hopefully I will get to read that I've got my little my little massager to give myself a little massage I'm have a little spa time early this morning on the plane and then I have my plenty pack in here from Erin Condren with all my pens in it for taking notes of the conference and keeping up with my life here in my planner. Everything that I need to accomplish, not miss while I'm gone. And then, look how cute this is, this little Totoro bag. It has a strap, but I took it off. You can wear it as like a crossbody bag if you wanted to. But I just have my wallet in there and my sunglasses. So yeah, that is everything in my my travel bag. This bag's really nice though. If you guys can see, there's like a pocket in here for a water bottle. There's also a pocket on the side for a water bottle. It holds a ton of stuff. It's also very inexpensive, um, if I recall. Uh, it was very affordable. I've, I've got something else in here. Oh, I've got, uh, this is a little zippy pouch with totes on it. And I have cash in there. Because you never know when you need some cash while traveling. So yeah, here at gate one.
across from Papacitos. <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> so I've arrived here in Dallas love field but yeah um, that was my little in-flight skincare routine I did um, so I'm whack these people on the face I did that little sheet mask put it on as soon as I got on oh first I put on a little of the CeraVe cleansing CeraVe gel oil this stuff is, is growing on me um, I've been loving it on my lips, but I put it on my face and then I put the sheet mask on. And uh, then I uh, incubated with that on my face. Got a little massage from my boy Breo. And uh, then I took it off after approximately, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, then I put on a layer of CeraVe, CeraVe Ultra Light Lotion for uh, sunscreen. And it uh, feels great. That is my. That is my recommended uh, how to keep your skin hydrated in flight. Trap in the trans epidermal water loss um, and uh, keep the skin hydrated. Oh, and then uh, Four Siggy came to my rescue. I had a little uh, adaptogen coffee. Uh, that That is my travel must. I wish the uh, Pure Rose Elixir were in little travel packets, but yeah. I'm glad I stocked up on the on the four Siggy since they're having the sale. I think the sale is still going on, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna conclude it here, head over to my hotel. I will continue vlogging the rest of this weekend, so stay tuned for that. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.